All right, guys, welcome back to the channel for part eight of our Grime playthrough. Uh, where we left off, we kind of explored the Gloom Nest area on the map a little bit, as well as we kind of took down a... I don't know if it was a hidden boss, but it was the uh, the jaw deer thing. I'm not, I can't remember what its name was. Anyway, uh, that's where we left off, and now we are tasked with going all the way down to... Or not down to, but... We need to figure out how to get all the way down there. We've explored pretty much everything that I think that would lead to it. There's still some, a lot of things to explore over there, like optional bosses and whatnot. But what I think we need to do is go down the servant's path and see if we can find where we need to kind of go to maybe find another boss for another ability. Because I have noticed like these little purple glowy th orb things around. So maybe there's like some extra pull ability that I need to find. Um, I do have a bunch of spare points that I have though. And also another thought that I have is I have this shaper sword and I was looking it over and the special attack says can be stabbed into prey, consuming all wisp stacks and ripping them from the target, dealing damage for each wisp. Now, the only weapon I know of that I have that does apply wisps is the wisp lantern. It says damage per projectile 102 applies wisp stacks to prey every five stacks causes a wisp to leave a destroyed prey which targets nearby prey so what this will do i think if we actually equip this and use it and we attack things that have a lot of health with it and then use the special attack on the shaper it'll make it so instead of waiting for the 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 prey to die and then it you know, goes towards other things we can stab it with the shaper and make it so it'll actually target that same thing which could be really useful for good spike damage so that's what we're going to try in today's video as well uh that said i can upgrade my sword a little bit so let's do that get this uh upgraded a little more all right, we need another blood metal chunk to upgrade that even further. But the weapon power is now 46, so that's cool. And on top of that, I think we can level up a little bit. So let's do that as well. I'm going to go force here because I need more stamina. Now, before we go, do I have any more items that I can use to get more mass? I do not. Okay, so let's get going. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna try to uh, use this to apply stacks and go from there. Can you heavy attack with this? Yes. Those guys don't like me. So yeah, I, I'm very curious about the, uh, the shaper sword thing if it combos with this weapon. If it does, it's kind of cool at the same time taxing on combat. So, I, you know, it's a resonance build and resonance is more about the passive abilities. But all the same, I'm willing to give this a go and see how it does. All right. Here. They're all talking about me. Also, I saw a guy say something about Great Fitus. Maybe he's in here. Maybe we got to find that person. Okay, those guys are like carving people. All right, let's go down. I feel like this side's safer. Yeah, okay. Hello there. Oh, hey, that's not very nice of you, sir. Okay. Let's try this out. Okay, yeah, so those wisp stacks came out of him. Granted, he already died, but... Now, I wonder if it will do it with even just one stack. No, it will not. Q. 
curious the amount of damage it'll do. Ah, oh, that does, that actually does really good damage. So that's pretty neat. This is weird. The sword's doing all right damage all by itself now too. All right, that guy's gone. So we can pull these things down. Okay. Is there something else up here? Aha. Uh -huh. Hey. I'm telling you to hide in there. Get out of there. What do you mean get out of there? Get out of there. This level llama is mine. I know you are the cheat. I will call the other servants on you if you don't get out. What are you talking about? I don't know what that guy's on about. He said that he think they just punched it, but there's nothing there to punch. All right, moving on. <laughs> I don't know what that guy's on about. So yeah, interesting. This, um, this weapon will be good against like Enemies with a lot of health, like boss types. What's down here? Oh my God. Okay, well, that was kind of a waste. Wait, is it just... Can I... Pull this bomb off your back? No? Well, that sucks. Guess we'll heal. Oh, there's an item up there now. Oh, well. Um, how does one get these? No, there's not enough time to grab it because item grabbing slows you down. Wonder if you can parry them. Okay, you can. Oh my god. Interesting. Okay, this one's made of fire. Probably can't parry that one. Not that there's any reward to doing so there. Moving platforms. Sweet. Everyone's favorite. Oh. That guy's going for the multiple stabs here. All right. I see you. crushed my right, first death of the day guys so those spear traps you can actually parry them that's interesting oh hey and that's
Okay, that's pretty solid damage. That's pretty solid. An extra 102 damage just for doing that. I mean, specifically against bosses, I think that'll be all right. Ooh. All right. That goes up. What's down? A dark pit. Okay. Oh, these are breakable. You don't see anything down there. All right. Just a pit of darkness. What's down here? Oh, that's breakable. Are you guys going to be evil? An arm for a threat. Please, I have nothing to work with. Oh, what's this? Oh, hey, it's this guy. Hurry up, you cruds. There's like a line. Next. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, that's fire. What the? Okay, it's really dark in here. That just goes full circle. Okay. There's something up there. Ow. Oh my god, I'm on fire. Oh my god, there's another one. Okay, so that targeted someone else randomly. Okay, he died. That was a little complicated, but we got him. All right, let's go see what this guy dropped. Unformed head. Okay, cool. Nothing else up there, unfortunately. All right, the music just stopped. It's kind of ominous. Lots of those spears. Carven Palace. Okay, here's this. Nice. Get to heal. Maybe, uh, maybe level up a little. Now we're a little bit shy. While we're here, may as well use this, um, unformed head just to level up. So I'm kind of liking this combo just because like specifically if we get to use it against a boss Imagine if we just take opportunities to just build up a bunch of stacks and then just do them all at once, you know Go and get more force It's five stacks for one wisp, so 
Alright, there's a trap up there. Right, let's see what's up here. Oh my god, hey. I was not ready for that, but I'm glad we didn't get hit. All right, can't jump up there. Not tall enough. Okay, so there's another one of those purple floaty things right there that I mentioned earlier. I, I see them in random spots. They got to be something. Ooh, ah, shoot. No, no, no. In there. Yes, get hit by the trap. Okay. What the heck? Oh, I can pull it. All right. Uh, do I have to get on this? Maybe. Oh, God. It's going to make me parry all these. Wish me luck. Oh, too early. I'm alive. Okay. I'm going to heal. Can I go up? Nice. This is new. Oh, what the? Sir? Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I forgot my pole does big damage. I was going to like activate all the stacks on them after that pole, but there was no need. I took a lot of damage on that. Holy. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let me check out what's over here first. There's this guy throwing these fire spears. Ow. That hit me directly. Whoops. Well, um, at least we know where we're going. I still have this fire spear in my stomach. Bring this over this way again. All right, here we go. I wonder if that enemy I just killed respawns. Perfect. That was good. That was good. Wait, you're up there now. Why are you not over here? Oh, there's two of them? Was there always two and I just never noticed? All right. Oh, there's nothing here for me. We have to go up on the left after all. Oh, there's something in the middle right there. Now we got those guys out of the way, so I guess they won't throw things at me now. Ow. 
That's harsh. Dang, dude. I mean, this one's a little bit tough. There we go. Oh, hey. Can we get past this? Why do I feel like that's going to hurt me if I touch it? I'm not going to. Okay. I can't do anything there to get up there. There's these two little pole things, but nothing else. So I guess we'll go check out the right side where these moving platforms are. I'm glad they light up a little bit so you know when they're like usable. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, I would have landed on that platform anyway. Okay, we're actually doing all right. There's this guy. Are you evil? You are. Nice. What's really great, too, is when I dodge and they hit that shadow, it does a bunch of damage to him, too. This scales off resonance. Oh, boy. Unformed torso. Nothing else here. So we gotta go to the left. I kinda wanna see what's down here. That was a mistake. All right. <laughs> I guess we carry on this way. Electric spear now? Ow. Um. Game froze for a minute, but we're good. Oh, wow. The game does not like this. Oof. Oof. Okay, I have exactly one HP right now. What is this? An elevator? Okay. Let's see where it goes. Maybe it'll bring us back to a, uh, a stone. I hadn't really noticed a spot for an elevator. Okay, there's a spot up there we can jump off. There's a stone right here. There is. Also items underneath there. Well, we get to heal, so that's good. Can't grow, but I do have a thing I can use to make it so we can. This unformed torso. Where is it? There it is.
Let's put another one into force. Stamina is good so we can keep on dodging and everything. Okay, so I, I do remember this platform earlier. I do. I never noticed the items underneath. So if I send this back up and hop off, it'll, I'll probably have to go through everything again. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're going to continue on. How many times can I swing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to make ten swings with that. Three. Okay, so I can swing seven times with that. So we can do a full combo of uh, getting up like a full wisp stack on there. So that's cool. Let's continue left. Can I open this? Won't open from this side. Okay, so what I think we have to do here is ride the elevator down and hop off on that spot where we saw on the left and right spots we could jump off. So let's do that. Which means the elevator will be inaccessible for a while until we get to it again. But I do see a ladder on the left over there. So it's definitely access points. Let's do this. Don't see anything on the right. And this is a point of no return, looks like. Oh boy. Oh, hey. Boss? Okay, that was not worth. I was expecting the wisps to target the guy I was like on the ground with. If it had, I think he would have actually died right there. It didn't did a lot of damage. It does 102 damage for one wisps, wisp, so I feel like that would have taken him out. Look at that guy. He's all lonely over there. Oh, what timing is that? All right, we have to heal. So it only pops up when you're near. Here's another one of these things. But it's electrical this time. Um, I'm going to check out this way. take that unformed torso he is not doing anything but i know we can get mass from him only 30 i don't know if that was worth that was kind of cruel all right we got everything on that side so we go back here i do see this we could drop down here enemies over there let's check this out first hey Okay, nothing special. Sibling, it says. Oh, he just got hit. Ah, uh, these guys are so hard to predict for me. We need a little bit more so we can heal. There's a trap right there. What are you doing? <laughs> He's just in there vibing, okay. 
we get through here? Yes. These platforms break. Uh, this looks precarious. Okay. Are these things going to shoot out as soon as I like get in their path or what? I probably should have tried it by jumping. Okay. So this is a thing up here. But I can't take it while these things are in the way, right? They'll just instantly kill me. Unless I maybe stand on the right side of it. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. There's something right here. What's this? Living rock. Also an item over there. I don't think I can make that jump. All right. I need to believe in myself more often. Adept Embroider Set. I mean, it looks all right. I still prefer the Drain Shell Set, though. I can't see anything. And I can't jump back up either. Oh, no. Okay. Hidden spots. Another item, though. What do we got? Unformed hand. We take it. Unformed hand. What is this guy? I have no health. But like, I feel like he doesn't talk, so maybe he's like a an enemy. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, that stab missed. I mean, he's slow. I think we had two stacks in the third attack on this, by the way. We do. No, I got greedy. Okay, so we can actually go back there and fight him again if we can find it. It's going to be tough to like find that again, I think, but I'm curious what it'll do for me. I think at worst, it'll give me uh, more uh, breath so I can heal a little more often, which is always useful. Applying the stacks to him is really easy, though. I just got greedy on that. That was my mistake. Anything on the right? Okay, there is something on the right here. That's another blood metal chunk. I think we can upgrade our sword again. I didn't want to do that at all. Oh, hey, we're right back here again. All right, so that's where that goes. This area is kind of neat. Oh, we can call that back with that. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. So we can get under here. Don't don't crush me. Living flesh, pillar fragments. More stuff down here. There's so many areas to explore down here. It's kind of crazy. Celebration chest. Oh, it's a nerve pass thing. Forced to breathe, it prolongs suffocation. 
trust not those that want to live. All right, come get your stacks, buddy. Ow. Ow. I got greedy. So that third attack applies two stacks, which is really great, but unfortunately, it leaves me pretty vulnerable to taking damage a lot of the time. But getting this nerf pass thing is pretty important, I feel, so we're going to get this. We're going to prioritize this. Is there anything on the right, though? Living flesh. Another blood metal shard. What's this? Have I been here yet? Well, this is a whole different area. No dead one may enter Senate's half city. We shall be sealed until the gift may unwrap. The unsealer is required. Well, I don't have whatever the unsealer is, so we can't do that right now. That's probably like later on in the story. Just another way of getting up there, I guess. But also we can go further down. There's one of those purple orbs again. I'll have to come back to this later as well. I think if we go to the left up there, that'll bring us back to the same floor where the uh, elevator is. Yeah. So for now, we go this way to unlock this nerve pass. That does solid damage. It really does. I, re I really like this sword and what its capabilities are. Resonance in general is fun. Okay, so now we can go to World Pillar, back to Feaster's Lair as well. And this is what? The Servant's Path, so now we can fast travel back here. Very cool. Now we can get back up there by going to the right. We'll do a quick heal. Not that we need to do too much of that, but... I do have some stuff I can use to level up again as well, so I may as well. Go ahead and put it into force again. Also, we have two of these hunter points, so maybe we can do something else on top of this. We can make it so our pole does 200% benefit resonance damage. Let me see. Yeah, I feel like that's what we're going to do here. So I'm not sure what this walk would be for, but I'm sure it's like to get to like some hidden areas or something. Yeah, let's go ahead and level this up again. I feel like this is a very large staple in dealing resonance damage. Any enemies that expose themselves for a moment so you can pull them, you just do a bunch of free damage. May as well take advantage of that. 
If you're doing a residence build, that is. We're going to make our way back to that rock giant and take him down. Which I think it was this way. a lot of damage but the wisps were kind of useless so enemies like that i'll just build it up to five and then we can do the big step because the big step itself does a bunch of damage too so building it all the way up to 10 is kind of not worth because you don't really get to apply it all unless there's other enemies nearby i guess Oh, we can actually hit him in the back. I don't like that he just hit me like that. That was not very nice. Uh, so where was this guy? Not down here. Oh, no. was up this way. Right? I believe. Oh, I shouldn't have fell. Remember this big jump. Here he is. He was in here. Build those stacks. Well, it caps out at 20, apparently. It's a fair amount of damage. Let's get on the other side of him here. A little more room. seven on that combo there but we also might just do more damage straight up by doing this luckily this guy's very slow
No, I think between all the damage that the lantern does itself per hit, I think it's like 15 plus the combo. I think it's overall worth it on enemies like this. Hunt point gained. No breath out of that, but we got a fully formed husk, which is 5,000 points. That's our free level up all by itself. Nice. I was hoping for more breath, but, you know, it's something. And then just goes full circle back this way. You know, I saw a couple of these enemy types earlier on in the game as well. So I wonder if they're all the same. Oh, shoot. How do I get it past that? <clears throat> Maybe I got a pull? Yeah. Shoot, 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 shoot. Ow. Will it survive the electricity? It will. And now we go up. All right, so the secret to that is whenever you see like the, uh, the wire fraying, you have to do a quick pull. Otherwise it'll disappear. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, don't tell me I, there's a boss now. Are you optional as well? He's got some cool swords. I'm just afraid like if I swing at him right now, he's just gonna like one shot me. Unformed hand. Another one. Oh, here's this door from earlier. Okay, so what we can do is I'm going to take this elevator all the way down, heal, go back up, and I'm going to swing at that guy and see if he's another boss we can fight. Also, while we're going down, I'm going to take a step off the right side here and see if there's anything. You. Ah, there you are. I was just collecting Shidra's tribute. The maker needs his materials to create just like anyone else. So what did you think of the palace? Pretty, isn't it? That's it? Such wonderful architecture. Oh, okay, we can trade. Doesn't have anything of particular use to me. Except breath do shards, I guess. Those are nice. But I don't want to use... What the? Sorry, didn't mean to do that. So I guess it's going to kind of make me go back this way. In order to go back... I don't think I can get up there yet. Well, I can't because I dropped down now, but... All right. Well, let me do... This. It's like the homeward bone from Dark Souls. It just takes you back to the bonfire. And then we can use... These. That should give us enough to level up, I believe. Oh, we're shy by 20. 
Uh, we got that uh, the other one for 5,000 as well, though. So there's that. Plus these. Where is it? There it is. And put one in health and one in force. And we're going to save the rest because I, I do want to level up my sword more as well. Also, I wonder if we level up the lantern, if that'll scale up the damage of the wisps. I bet you it would. We can go all the way up top now because that door is open. It was down here, right? those give mass for some reason. All right, let's try this. Is this the guy from the area earlier? Oh yeah, the damage is real. But also he is very strong. Oh my god, he's 1 HP and I still lost. He's got those that weird delay on his swings. Well, we know we can take him down very quickly because of the extra damage and the pull itself, so this is very possible. I think he's the guy that um, soon after the area where Shidra is to the right on the way to the Servant's Path, I think he's one of the two people that kind of insult you on the way out. He looks just like him. So what we'll do is we'll open up, get, uh, we'll try to get like 15 stacks on them instead of just the 10 to get that little bit extra damage and then just fight him normally from there. Not so nice there, though. Yes, that was good. That was good. Hunt point gained. Not bad at all there. All right, let's go back up and get our heal on. Now that we took him out. That fight's not so bad, like, especially because we were able, able to open up with the, with the Wisp stack damage. That's just so good. It's so strong. You got to think about it like this. We hit him 15 times, or we put 15 stacks on him, rather, and each time we hit him with the Lantern is 15 damage. And then on top of that, you have the stab damage from the sword plus the damage of every Wisp hitting him from there. And every wisp itself does 102 damage. That's a big spike. We we're, so we took like 60% of his health in a single swoop. It's really strong. 
But all right, uh, that's said. Let's go ahead and level up our force again. I think we have enough points to do so. Yeah. More force. More force. All right, guys, this is a great spot to leave off on this video. When we come back on the next one, we will continue on into this area, explore a little more, see what other things we can find. We've already found, found two optional bosses, bosses, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you leave a like and a comment on the video, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this coming very soon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.